hey guys what's going on uh, today we'll be creating this awesome looking navigation menu that slides in from the left on hover and as you can see we have these icons that change the colors on hover and we also have this custom made scroll bar so let's jump right in and start coding okay so i have a folder opened up in my vs code and i have these two files created already index.html and style.css and as you can see both of them are empty so if you are following along just go ahead and create these two files and we're ready to go okay so the html is gonna be really really simple so let's go ahead and just generate a boilerplate and we're gonna call it sliding menu and inside our body I'm gonna have a div and let's just call it mm, menu actually let's just call it main menu menu and inside it we're gonna have a honor list and we're gonna have a bunch of list items so list item and we're gonna give them the class name menu item and we're gonna have 13 of them so 13 so I've got my list items so let's go ahead and put some random text in there so let's call the first one home uh, notifications uh, messages uh, social icons so facebook um, twitter this is really really tedious and github okay so we have got our list items and now let's go ahead and link our style.css with our file so link well, style.css and the font i'm using is the firasans from google font so let's go ahead and grab that okay so let's go to fonts.google.com and we're going to search for fira sans all right so this is the font i'm using of course you can use any font you want um okay so the regular 400 is the variant i'm using so select this style uh, click on embed and we're gonna copy this link and paste it right there all right so we've got our list items we have our style.css linked with the html file and we also have our font and now let's go ahead and get the icons so for the icons i'm using font awesome so i'm gonna go to google and let's search for font awesome for and we're gonna come all the way down and go to this link w3schools.com and we're gonna copy this link so copy and paste it right there all right so with that being done uh, our html is pretty much done and we just have one thing left to do that is um get get the icons so if you open up your html file in a browser uh, you can see we have the list items but we don't have the icons before them so to get the icons we can just type in we can just wrap them around i tag and give them the class name the font or some specific class names so fa fa dash home is the class name for the home icon so if you save that and open up your html you can see we've got the icon for the home similarly we can just copy that and paste it right there and for the notifications we want to have the bell icon so you just type in bell and as you can see the bell icon and for the messages we want to have the um i don't know what it was called maybe paper plane yeah so paper plane and then for programming we want to use uh code action for blogging i want the globe and i don't want to waste your time so if you want all the class names for the icons you can just go ahead and search for font awesome cheat sheet and follow this link font awesome.com slash v4.7.0 slash cheat sheet and you can have all the class names there i'll leave all the links for this video in the description so you can check them out from there all right so i've imported all the icons from that cheat sheet and uh, we're done with our html so let's close that up and 
open up our style.css and we're gonna start off by resetting everything so let's select everything and the body and we're gonna set the margin to zero and the padding to zero as well all right now let's go ahead and set the background color so body background color and the color i'm using is hash eb 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 all right and now let's set the font as well so font family and uh, the font i was using is fira sans and for the fallback font let's use sans serif all right uh now let's go ahead and select the main menu so main menu and i want the position to be fixed so position uh, fixed the reason i want the position to be fixed is because uh when i scroll when i scroll on this area i don't want the navigation menu to scroll as well uh, on this content area so yeah all right so position to be fixed and i want to place it at the top so top zero and left so left zero and let's give it a height actually let's give it a width so width uh, i want it to be 70 pixels and for the height let's use 100 vh so it will use a hundred percent of the viewport height all right so let's set the background color background color i want it to be pure white so fff and let's set the border uh, radius so border uh, top right radius and i want it to be 10 pixels uh, if you zoom in if you zoom in and check you can see i'm using the border radius on only the top right and the bottom right uh, areas and not on the top left and bottom left so yeah so top right radius to be 10 pixels and bottom right radius to be 10 pixels as well okay so now let's set the overflow overflow to hidden the reason we are setting the overflow to hidden is because uh, the way we are achieving this is when the text is offset or it's overflowing out of this div since we are setting the overflow to be hidden the text is invisible and when we hover over it since the width of this div increases the text comes into view all right so now let's move on notice how everything is wrapping around inside this div we don't want that we want the text to be overflown right so let's go ahead and fix that real quick we want to say white space to no wrap and that fixes that now as you can see everything is in line nothing is wrapping around and the uh, text that is overflown is hidden so now let's go ahead and add a shadow to this so that it's more pronounced so let's go and set the box shadow and we want it to be zero pixels zero pixel 20 pixels and the color we are using is hash d4 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 let's save that and we have the shadow all right so everything seems good until now so one more thing we want to do with this div is we want to increase the width of this div on hover so we want to say that so dot main menu on hover we want to say the width to be 70 270 pixels so that on hover the width of this div increases all right so notice how it's just bam into your face we don't want that right we want it to be smooth we want it to be smoothly transition into that so we're just gonna go and set the transition transition to 0.3 seconds and we want to 
set it to ease so that when you save as you can see we have that smooth effect all right so let's move on um what next let's see what we've got uh so the menu item all right so the next thing we are going to do is select the menu item so inside the main menu we want to select the menu menu item and we are going to give it a padding of 10 pixels also we want to change the background color of the menu item on hover so in menu menu item on hover we want to set the background color to d6 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 and we also want to set the cursor to pointer so it looks prettier than before but we want to increase the icon size so with font or some what we can do is we can just change the font size to resize the icon so we want to say main menu inside the main menu we have the menu item inside which we have the dot uh, fa class right so we want to change the font size of that to 25 pixels not 35 25 pixels all right so we've got the icons we have got the background color and the cursor but there's one thing that needs to be fixed that is the text is not lined up properly this is because of the irregular sizes of the icons some of them are larger some of them are smaller than the other so to fix that we can just give it a, a fixed width so we can just say width to be say 40 pixels and that should fix it strong oh yeah so that fixed it so now all the text is lined up properly all right so the text is lined up properly but the text is not completely hidden because it's not completely overflowing out of this div so to fix that we can just add a padding to these icons so we can just say padding and set it to about 10 pixels and that should fix it and as you can see we have the icons but we don't see the text so when we hover over it the text comes into view and we can just navigate around all right so before we move on there's one thing that needs to be fixed that is we can't scroll on this area because we have set the overflow of main menu to hidden so to fix that we can say main menu on hover we want to set the overflow overflow of y-axis to scroll so that when we hover on the main menu the um the scroll bar appears on the right side okay so now let's customize the scroll bar so i'm just gonna paste in some code here just to speed things up and what we have is we have the webkit scroll bar vendor prefix and we have set the width to five pixels and we have the scroll bar track and we have set the background to transparent and we also have the scroll bar thumb the scroll bar thumb is the thumb that we use to scroll and we have the we have set the background to hash b b b b b and the border radius to 10 pixels and now if we save and open up our html as you can see we have the scroll bar also we want to change the icon color to gray so we want to go to fa and then we want to say color gray and now and now it looks good we also want to change the color of the icons on hover so we're just gonna say dot menu main menu dot menu item on hover we want to select the fa and we want to set the color to blue so now if you hover over the menu items the color of it changes all right so in the demo that i showed you uh, the home the notifications and the messages seem to have their own sections so let's go ahead and add that so we are going to go to our html and we're going to add a section here so section and we're going to give it an id of home and then we're going to put the first three list items inside it so we're going to cut that and paste it right there and and we're gonna add another section and give it a ID of others 
and we're gonna paste all of the other list items inside it all right so now let's go to our style.css and we're gonna say section hash home and we're gonna set the color background color background color to hash f3 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 and let's go ahead and check that out and as you can see we're done and that's our navigation menu we can now hover over it and navigate around but there's one thing that i want to say that our navigation menu isn't working at the moment because uh, as you can see we have the list items but we are not pointing any of the list items to anywhere uh, because we don't have the a tag so if you want to uh, fix that you can just wrap them around a tag and point them to specific pages for the links all right with that being done that's it that's our navigation menu and it looks cool so i'll see you on the next one